Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We want to thank God for the good morning that is has been able to unveil unto us, to rejoice into the Lord and to be happy. He has been grateful, gracious unto us. The whole week we have seen his might and his protective hands, especially at this time. We need to say thank you. We have come here to share with you so that you join me to say thank you, thank you to Lord. Thank you for the protection as we also remember who are affected in hospitals, either by the coronavirus or any other disease, that the mercy of the Lord and the love of the Lord that superpasses our understanding may reach each and every person, the sick to be healed, the hunger to be fed, and the stress to be encouraged, and more so. That's why we are here to glorify the Holy Name. We are starting the service this morning with a word of open, opening prayer. So let us pray. Our Father who is at in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our passes as we forgive our passes against us. Lead us not to temptation and deliver us from evil. For there is the kingdom, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, we come this morning with a lot of thanksgiving. We, we, we honor you. We glorify you. You say you are worthy to be worshipped. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the omega, alpha and omega. You are God that changes not. You are the one today, tomorrow and the day forever. We exalt you. We exalt you, dear Lord. You love us, oh dear Father. That's why you gave your only begotten son that whosoever believes in you shall not perish, but have eternal life. We commit ourselves this morning, as we start this service, dear God, we ask you, Jehovah God, to be in our midst. Let the Holy Spirit control and take control of this service in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we shall do, my Father, we are asking for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take control. We are asking in everything that shall, we shall do in this service, may it be in singing, may it be in the world, may it be in prayer, my God, my Father, take control. We humbly put ourselves before your hands, God, your holy hands, dear Father, your hands full of mercy, your hands full of grace. In the mighty name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. We are going to start uh, our morning with worship you're going to sing and I want to start with singing a Swahili song Hakuna waku fanana na wewe Hakuna waku fanana na Hakuna waku lingani shwana we Hakuna waku fanana na wewe ni mlinzi ya wewe we ni muweza we we waokoa hakuna wakufanana nawe ni nakuinua yawe ni nakushujudu ni nakuabudu baba hakuna wakufanana nawe ni nakushujudu baba ni takuina mia mimi ni Takupendeza baba kuna waku fanana na Una stahili ya we Una stahili Una stahili Hakuna waku fanana na Ni na kushujudu ya we Ni na kushujudu baba ni Na kushujudu Hakuna waku fanana na we Wewe ni buwana Amen, hallelujah Wewe ni buwana Amen, hallelujah Wewe wa stahili baba Amen, hallelujah Wewe wa stahili Amen, hallelujah Wewe wa weza baba, amen, hallelujah. Wewe wa 
eyes um, amen hallelujah we we wa we za ba ba amen hallelujah we we wa we za amen hallelujah we we wa o ko wa ba ba amen hallelujah we we wa o ko wa amen hallelujah we we wa we za ba ba amen hallelujah we we wa we za Amen. Hallelujah. Nakua buru baba. Amen. Hallelujah. Nakua buru. Amen. Hallelujah. Nakushu juru baba. Amen. Hallelujah. Nakushu juru. Amen. Hallelujah. Hakuna, hakuna, hakuna kama we we ya we hakuna eh aku oh hakuna kama we kweli kweli hakuna baba hakuna ya we kuna kama we we ya hakuna eh hakuna hakuna kama we we mungu wangu aku oh aku eh hakuna kama we Baba yangu hakuna 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 kama we kweli kweli hakuna 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 muweza kama we we oh aku oh hakuna kama we e kweli hakuna baba hakuna mengi hakuna kama we we baba yaku oh aku e hakuna kama we e baba hakuna baba kuna mungu hakuna kama we we hakuna 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 kama we we na kushujudu na kushujudu na kushujudu na kushujudu ba e na kushujudu na kushujudu na kushujudu ba e na kuabudu na kuabudu na kuabudu na kuabudu ba ba na ku e na ku ya na kuabudu ba e ba ba na kuinu na ku Ana kuinu wa mungu wangu na kuinu wa na kuinu wa na kuinu wa ba we ni muweza ni muweza we ni muweza ni muweza baba e ni muweza ni muweza ni muweza baba hakuna 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 kama we mungu wangu hakuna 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 kama we kweli hakuna 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 kama we e kweli hakuna 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 kama we dam ya yesu dam ya yesu dam ya yesu usafi shaka bisa dam ya yesu dam ya yesu amen dam ya yesu Yesu usafi shaka bisa shetani ameshindwa na damu ya Yesu shetani ameshindwa na damu ya Yesu shetani ameshindwa na damu ya Yesu asifi we mokozi dam ya yesu kalvar dam ya yesu e dam ya yesu usafisha kabisa ah tutaenda kwa maombi kumuinua na kumwabudu baba katika jina la yesu <laughs>
Yes. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanasaredhi ninakuabudu ninakuinamia ninasema unastahili wewe ni Mungu baba Mungu bwana Mungu roho mtakatifu hakuna mwingine kama wewe wewe ndiye muumba wa dunia na vyote tuonaye na, na macho yetu baba hata vingine tusio viona vyote baba baba creation inatush, inatushangaza inatupa kujua nguvu na uwezo wako baba wewe ni Mungu mkuu muweza wewe ni Mungu zaidi ya vyote wewe ni Mungu mkuu you are the lord of lords and the king of kings dear god we worship you we glorify you we say you are worthy to be worshiped there is none but thee o jehovah i humble myself before thy seat of the, the seat full of grace dear father before i want to ask for forgiveness dear god because i know you don't you don't associate with anything that is unclean i come before our lord and savior jesus christ that i may be able to be saved that i may be able to be cleansed by the blood of jesus the blood that was poured on calvary dear god the blood that speaks miracle jehovah the blood that speaks salvation dear father the blood that speaks forgiveness of sin in the mighty name of jesus thank you for the mighty name of jesus that above all name above all prosperity above all forces the 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 name of God that does all the mighty. Oh, thank you, Father, this morning, dear Father, that I'm cleansed and forgiven by the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, that Jesus has a seat on the seat of, on, on the right hand of our Lord, of our God. He is interceding for me i say thank you dear god thank you for forgiving my sins you have said that i come unto you oh jehovah as i'm heavy laden dear god that you're going to you're going to you're going to remove all my heavy burdens in the mighty name of jesus you are god full of love jesus you are the way the truth of the life if it was not your god we would not have gotten salvation but because through of the calvary and the crucifixion jehovah god and the and the power of the resurrection jehovah and the defeat and the victory against the devil we have become children and higher with christ we say thank you i say thank you i glorify you i honor you oh dear god i humble myself dear father i humble you before you oh god i say you are worthy you are worthy thank you my god my father for forgiving my sins dear god how this morning dear god i want to pray for your church i want to pray for your church dear god oh jehovah god you are coming to take the church the church is your bride oh jehovah god this morning jehovah god I ask you, dear God, that you may be able to cleanse the church. It took you three days, O Jehovah, your death and resurrection, dear Father, to set the foundation of God, the altars of the church, the, the altar that shall not be worshipped by any other God, but to be worshipped by you, O Jehovah, you God who liveth, O Jehovah, covered with the blood of Jesus, O God, the altar that speaks salvation, the altar that speaks forgiveness of sin, the altar that speaks healing of jehovah the altar that speaks mighty and mighty things about among mankind in the mighty name of jesus it is the altar that worship you oh god is the altar that exalt you oh jehovah the altar that exalt you dear you god the father and the son it uh, the father God the Father, the Son, and, and, and the Holy Spirit. It is you that we worship. We humble ourselves before thee in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear God, we are asking for forgiveness for ourselves what we have committed, dear God. Even we are, forg we are, we are coming for our country, our country, Kenya. How I ask you, Jehovah, that you forgive the, our country, Kenya, in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to stand at the gap, O Jehovah, that my Father, you may remember our country, Kenya, and forgive us our sins, O Jehovah, that my Father, dear God, that you may continue reigning in the whole country and all the altars that worship the devil, that that shall be demolished by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost fire that demolish all of and establish and you have to establish the, the the altar that worship you in truth and in spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you God because you reign. Thank you God that you reign. I want you even to remember the country Congo where I am Jehovah God. This country has been a blessing to me. Dear God I ask you Jehovah to also intervene in this country. Father reign in this country. Demolish all the altars of the devil. All the altars of demonic worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Triumph from every country every every situation. God you are the one that war. You are that war Jehovah like you told the East, uh, Moses that stand as where you are that I may be able to bring victory among you. Jehovah God bring victory in the country of Congo in the mighty name of Jesus. At this particular time I want even to remember the prisoners who are who, are, who have coronavirus and they are getting infected every day, every day. Dear God, dear Father, you use, you always use the weak of Jehovah. The prisoners are the weak and that is why you say I was in prison. Did you, did you come to visit me? Dear God, dear Father this particular time 
Remember the prisoners of, Mac of Ndolo and Makala. Dear God, I ask you, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, heal them. Let there no anyone who die. Jehovah God, let all of them be declared healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And those other ones, let them be declared not infected in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to extend the same in the whole world. All the prisoners, Jehovah, cover them with the blood of Jesus. As you also cover other community in the mighty name of Jesus. This particular time, Jehovah God, you are in control, Jehovah. Reign, Jehovah God. Reign, my Father, reign in the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. It is you, God, who is reigning. It is not us. It is not human being. It is you, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Take control, God. Take control, my Father. Thank you, my God and my Father. Oh, I give you glory. I give you honor. I honor you. I humble myself to you. I want to say thank you for the protection. You have protected us. Oh, dear God, continue protecting us. We are standing with Psalms 91, oh, dear God. I remember from the beginning of the, of the year, I was praying of the I fasted Jehovah. Thank you, God, because I've seen you. You are God who 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 fulfill prayers. You are the God who fulfill prayers. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. You are worthy. I will worship you all the days of my life. I will worship you, O oh God. Oh, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabaku, Rabaku, Ti, Kuridima, Kurabaku, Ti. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Take control, my God. Take control, take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Rain, rain, rain in the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. Rain, rain, rain in your church. Oh, dear God. At this particular time, as people are in the house, by God, my Father, the youth, oh, dear over. Remove the spirit of rebellion. Put the spirit of the fear and loving you in the mighty name of Jesus. They're all in the rebellious way. Jehovah God chain them. Oh Jehovah God that they may turn to you and worship you in truth and spirit. The young and the children, even the baby, all of them, they are going to witness oh Jehovah, your spirit and your power in the mighty name of Jesus. The whole mankind, dear God, we shall come out oh Jehovah, worshiping you in truth and in spirit. While we are in the house, Jehovah God, you are working on your people. You are sharpening your people. You are anointing your people you are revealing yourself in your people in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth you're taking control my god you're changing lives of jehovah you're changing the lives of god people are coming to you with repentance by god my father accept our repentance as we repent to you clean our heart jehovah clean our heart my god i am before you oh my god my god my father i am before you not on a human being but i'm before you my god my father Oh, dear Father, I, I am before you. I am before thy presence, humbling myself before thy presence. Oh, exalting you, honoring you, my God, honoring you. It is you who matter. Nobody else matter in this world. It is you, oh Jehovah, who matter. It is you, Jehovah, who matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us in situation, Jehovah, that we put ourselves to, to wanting other people to see. But people can do nothing. It is you, God, my God, my Father. Oh, Jesus Christ, it is you. It is you who matter in my life. It is you who matter in our life. It is you who matter in the life of the church. Oh my God, my Father. As we preach through videos, as we preach videos, oh Jehovah, let know that you are not preaching to anybody, but you are preaching to exalt your holy name. It is you who God who matters. It is you who Father who matters in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not preach in the video, preaching to people just now, but talking to you, humbling yourself into you. Thank you, my God, for the revelation. Thank you, God. I repent for the sins of ever speaking for the audience only, but feeling myself in the presence of you, God, presence of almighty God, presence of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jehovah God, I can do nothing without going through Jesus Christ. I can only reach you before Jesus Christ. I come, I say thank you. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. This teleconference, this video chat, forgive us, forgive us, my God. Forgive us, dear Lord, forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and give thanks. Asante, asante baba. Asante, asante. Nakukudu. Nakuina biya. Nasema na style. Na style mko wako. It's all about Jesus. It's all about you, God. It's all about you, God. It's all about you through Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God, my Father. Thank you, Father. Let me always worship you. Let me always honor you. Honor you, my God. Honor you, my Father. Rabba, Ridima, 
I give you glory. I give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray and I give thanks. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before my God and my Father. I'm praying for the word. As we go to have the word of the day, dear God, my Father, I ask you, my God, my Father, to be able to give us revelation of the world and let us be the doer of the world. Let us not be people who just watch ourselves like we watch in the mirror and forget ourselves. But the word that you shall give us, dear Father, let it have meaning. Let us have revelation and let us be the doer in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my God. We are now going to go through the word of God. The word of the day, what God has given us. And I'm sure he's going to open it up. It is him. I'm just a vessel. He's just using my mouth. But the word is from God. Let us read from Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. We are reading from the book of Ezekiel 37. And I'm going to read until Ezekiel 10, from 1 to 10. Let us read. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out of the Spirit, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the midst. In the middle of a valley it was full of bones he led me and he and he flew among them and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley bones that were very dry he asked me son of man can these bones live I said O oh, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord said to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you, and make flesh come upon you and, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will open to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So, so I prophesied as I was commanded and I was prophesying there was a noise and a rattling sound and the bones came together, bone to bone, and I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the, to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, Come from the four winds, O oh breath, and live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them, and they came to life. And I stood up on their fear feet on, on I stood and stood up on their feet, a vast army, a great army. The Lord is teaching us about the mighty things and his power that is above all powers. We should believe in God because he is God. He is a mighty God. He is the Alpha and Omega. And one thing, 
as what Jesus said when he was tempted, when he was fasting, the devil came and told him, turn these stones into bread and eat. But Jesus told him, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. So any word that comes from the mouth of the Lord, what God says, he accomplishes. The Bible says that God is not a human being that he can lie. Our God does not lie. Whatever comes from his mouth, he does it. He told Isaiah, Ezekiah, that prophesies to this bone. He asked him, do you think these bones can live? Then because of the situation, the dryness of the bone, Isaiah said, I do not know. It's only you, sovereign God, that knoweth. Let us submit ourselves unto the Lord. Let us give ourselves wholly unto the Lord, because he's mighty. It doesn't matter the situation you're passing on. It doesn't matter the problems that you're passing on. But I would also want to ask you, in this situation of Jesus, when he was told to turn the stones into bread, it is not that the stones could not turn into bread. But we should be very careful you don't fall in the trap of the devil. The work of the devil is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. His work is to, um, to criticize. Kazi yake ni kudhihaki. Kudhihaki mungu. Iyo ndiyo kazi yake. Tusikubali mkutumua na shetani. Kudhihaki mungu. But let us use the word of God for his glory and for his own. God always done the impossible. He does the impossible. He is above human being. He is above and above. He's a creator. He is our creator. He is our father. He is above all. In situation where there is none belief, that is when the temptation comes in. Don't allow the second, temp the second temptation of Jesus. He was told, fall down and angels are going to hold you. And that is in Matthew 4. And Jesus told him that it's written you should never tempt God. You should never tempt God. Devil was an angel. He was an angel. He knows the power and the magnitude of power and who God is. But he's trying to test the sun. He wants to put the sun on the trap. Never allow yourself to be put on the trap by the devil. But all you should know, just believe. Once you believe, the first thing is to believe God. The Bible says in, in John, John 3.16, that he, he has, God loved the, the whole world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him, that it is those who believe in God, that whosoever believe in God shall not perish, but see, but have eternal life. The eternal life is for those who believe in God, the son of God, who was crucified, who carried our sins and was crucified and died for us, my sisters, my brother. If you believe in God, we need to believe in his work and his deeds. We need to believe that he's mighty, he's all-knowing, he's all-powerful, he's omnipotent. He is everything. And his son, Jesus Christ, his name is above all names. It is through Jesus that we are. We are among the class or the tribe that were rejected. We are not among the lineage of the Israelites the lineage of, of, of uh, David. We are not. But because of the grace of God, Jesus said he loved the whole world and he gave his only begotten son. My brother, my sister, I don't know the dry bones that you're passing through. I do not know. Maybe because of your faith, you pray you feel God is not hearing. Ezekiel said, I do not know. You sovereign God, you alone know. Even in whatever you are passing, even in your salvation, put it in the hands of God. Let him direct you. Ezekiel agreed to be directed by God. And then he was told, no, prophesy to this bone. As dry as they are, they are already in the valley. They are already rejected. They are bones that are useless. But these bones, when Ezekiel accepted God to use his mouth, he prophesies upon the bones, and there was life. 
the bones who are attached together, the tendons and the flesh, and finally the breath. And there was a big army, a big army of the Lord. That is God. He is going to make us a big army. If only we accept the dry bones in our life, may it be sicknesses, may it be doubts in life, may it be poverty, may it be corona, may it be cancer, may it be helplessness in life, may it be stress, may it be rejection, may it be you, you, your faith is not stable, it's not stable, God will make it stable. God will show you the way. He is the way, the truth of the life. Jesus is the way, the truth of the life. Just accept Jesus as the Savior, as your Savior and your Lord. And everything God shall master. When he told Ezekiel, he never told Ezekiel to do anything. Ezekiel was only told to prophesy. And the work was within the power of God. You only need to believe God. Believe God in what you're going through. May it be you under addiction. May it be under rejection. May it be under a financial crapping life. I don't know what you're going through. Even me, I am going through issues. But let us wait God to pronounce. Let God, God is saying, I am able to save you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. At Calvary. Jesus said, Olai, Olai, Labakithan, meaning all is finished. All your problems, all your sicknesses are all solved through the power of resurrection and the defeat of the devil. Mushtakiwa akashindo, kazi ya shetani ni kushtaki, kazi ya shetani ni kutuaribu, kazi ya shetani ni kuaribu, diyo naona ata alienda, alienda wakati eh, alienda mpaka kwa Mungu akamwambia nimekuja nimekuwa nikitanga tanga kutanga tanga nilikuwa nikitanga tanga kule na nikaona mtumishi wako Ayubu naye Mungu akamwambia ume Mungu akamwambia ni umenionea mtumishi wangu ni Mungu alimwambia umenionea mtumishi wangu Ayubu mtumishi wangu mwaminifu naye akasema amekuwa mwaminifu kwa sababu yale umewapea kazi ya shetani ni kushitaki Kazi ya shetani ni kutanga tanga. Yeye ni kutanga tanga. Bila mahali kutanga tanga. Wewe ukiwa na wewe unatanga tanga utakutana na yeye. Tafadhali, tafadhali. Wacha tukae katika mpango wa mungu. Mungu ni mungu wa mpango na atatuokoa. Atatuokoa. Mali ile shida tuko nae kama dry bone. Mungu atatusamehe. He will forgive us. He will make life where there is no life. He will make way where there is no way. Wakati, mungu wakisha sema neno, hakika na itimiza. Kumbuka wakati ya Musa on the burning bush. Haka mwita kamambia Musa tuwa viatu. Haka ona kichaka kina chomeka. Huyo ni mungu. Mungu ni moto uchomai. Mungu ni upanga mkali pande zote bili. Kwa sababu anatoa mambo yote mabaya. Haka muambia nina kutuma Israel, Egypt. Kwa sababu nimesikia kilio cha wana wa Israeli. Ukaenenda mahala pale, ukawatoa kutoka mikono ya shetani. It is the work of the Lord to snatch you from the devil. Just accept him. Just know he does mighty, mighty things. Believe in God. Believe in the resurrection and the forgiveness of sin and the defeat of the devil at Calvary. Yoyote amuaminie, atapata uzimu wa milele. Mungu akapenda dunia yote. Akaipenda yote. Lakini wale wa muaminie, hao ndiyo wanapata uzimu wa milele. Ninakusa.